Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So if you've been following my channel along for the last few months, I just completed the 12 week tech ladies coding boot camp here in Singapore. So if you'd like to see the vlogs where you follow along of us coding and working together as a team and the products we are building, I have all those vlogs listed below in the description or you can just go to my YouTube channel and watch them there. So although programming is something that you can definitely learn on your own, it is not necessary for you to get a computer science degree or join a coding boot camp a lot of people still consider going to a coding bootcamp even though all that information is available to you online. And you're probably watching this video because they at least have some interest in joining a coding bootcamp. So here's what I have to say about my experiences and the pros and cons of being in a coding bootcamp. Now it is rumored that if you complete certain coding bootcamp that a lot of these companies will claim a 95% plus hiring rate and six figure starting salaries. That's definitely the high end of the spectrum but a lot of these coding boot camps that are popular out there, I'm not gonna list any names, I'm sure if you just Google some of them, they'll have it on their website before you join the coding boot camp. A lot of them will claim, oh yeah, you can get a job straight out of the coding boot camp. We have lots of networks and connections. I just want you to remember to take those things with a grain of salt. Don't join a coding boot camp if you're looking to be instantly hireable because sometimes you don't actually know if those numbers are actually true because after doing some research, I realized that there's actually no problem for scientific research backing that up. So that's just something I want you to keep in mind. And that being said, is joining a coding bootcamp um, and graduating from one really that much better than a university degree? Well, I will let you know as we keep going into this video. Okay, so first I will start with a list of pros. I have many pros, but I wanted to keep this video equal with the pros and cons, and I will start with the pros first. So one cool thing is that your whole experience will be condensed usually within a two to three month time span. My was 12 weeks long rather than a four-year university degree. So that's nice when you don't want to commit that much time or you don't have a lot of time and you just want to get it out of the way, have it all condensed into a short period of time. I personally love that. I love being able to just get things done quickly and work hard now, but I also understand that for some people it's not for them. Another thing is on average it's usually much cheaper than a university. Like sure there's a lot of coding boot camps that are, look very expensive and are very expensive and costs more than a semester or maybe even a year at university but you know you just have to do that one time you don't need to go to school for four years like it's just like one semester or uh, yeah I guess just like a length of one semester most of the time. And another thing that's cool that's a pro is that you're being taught how to build and code and program a software that someone would actually pay you for because what you're necessarily learning in university is not exactly what you're gonna do at your day-to-day -day job like you know just sitting in a lecture or uh, building certain types of programs but at least in a coding boot camp you do get that real world problems so you're almost getting some sort of simulation in a way like you actually have a client or you have deadlines just like at a job so this is great for those of you that maybe you're not sure if you want to commit to a computer science degree yet but you just kind of want to dip your toes in the water you want to see what is the career about what is it like is it for me a lot of people that are switching careers or even kids in high school they're choosing what they want to be when they grow up they have these questions it's scary to go into this field at first because there's a lot of questions and unknowns and you don't know if you like it until you try so if you really are nervous about going to a university and pursuing a computer science degree rather than wasting all that time and money on maybe a degree that you're not really sure is for you why don't you just start with a coding boot camp at first that's a much better investment of your time and money and then if you do enjoy it then you should definitely pursue it and another pro is you get to learn all through hands-on learning rather than sitting in a traditional classroom environment like sure maybe there's going to be some lectures maybe a little bit of homework and some lessons but not like at school like when you are in university it definitely feels like your normal environment of a lecture someone's talking you have tests quizzes the coding boot camp I went to we didn't have any tests or quizzes which was pretty nice although sometimes I do miss that part of it because it forced me to study and really understand the logic of what I'm doing when I was in university I'm a college dropout by the way in case you guys didn't know so unlike a CS major you will have a more limited exposure to software and so the foundation you have to build off of will be much smaller and another pro is yeah in college you may learn a lot about programming and how it works and why but you lack that hands-on experience 
that you wouldn't really get unless you were working or joining a coding bootcamp or just doing some projects on your own. A lot of universities seem to lack that hands-on experience part. And the last pro that I have to say, you're immediately learning about coding, programming, platforms, softwares, and skills that you use every day in a regular coding job. But in university, you won't get that same kind of experience. Every programmer out there that has completed a computer science degree will tell you that what you learn in school is not what you're doing on the job. Like, yeah, you, yeah, it's helpful and you learn a lot and you do need those skills, but it doesn't give you that on-job, real-world experience. And, you know, some companies want people that understands the logical side of things, not necessarily they need to know how to code, but some companies are like, no, we don't care about the degree. We don't like, we just need someone that knows how to work for us and knows how to code. So it really depends who employs you and what kind of company you want to work for. And here are some cons about the coding bootcamp. I was actually surprised I even was able to come up with any because my experience has been really great at the coding bootcamp. I've enjoyed every minute of it. It's been a really exciting opportunity. And when I was studying computer science, I actually found that I hated learning most of the time because that, that sort of environment just really wasn't for me at the time. I'm glad I started with a coding bootcamp, but I'll get more into that in just a second after I list my cons. So one of the cons is you'll most likely only learn one language, which is okay if you want to go into a specific niche, but in university you have the option to learn a lot of different languages. Now when I was in university, I learned Java, but I also learned like the web fundamentals and we had the option of taking classes in C sharp if we wanted to. Another con is like, okay, yes, in the coding bootcamp, you may learn how to code really fast, but you're cutting corners and you're skipping over all the logical thinking side of things and why the code works this way and how. You're not really learning about those things. Like, yeah, maybe you are a little bit, but in university, you start from the beginning. You're not just diving straight into coding. You're actually learning every step along the way of how it came to the points today where we are that we can just type in some code and it turns into something else. Another con is your range of knowledge is not as large as uh, as a student that completed a computer science degree because coding boot camps are designed to give you the minimum skill set of what you need for a job. And if you want to go beyond that, you'll have to do some extra learning on the side. Which brings me to my next con. If you've completed a coding boot camp and you haven't like looked for a job yet or uh, started a job yet or anything, you have to keep up with what you're learning because because you learned it so fast, it'll be hard to keep that knowledge with you. So you don't want to let it go to waste, you know, try to keep up with it, even if it's just like 30 minutes a day in the morning or after work, you know, try to keep up with it, try to take some free classes on Udemy or Code Academy. it's, you know, or there's like some free coding projects or just, I would just recommend to just always keep learning. I mean, this is a career where you're always learning no matter what, but I think it's especially critical for coding bootcamp students that you do keep up with it. Like this wasn't just like some Saturday tennis lessons, like this is something you have to keep up with. And another con is if you don't work well in a time pressure environment, which I surprisingly, I'm like half and half on that, depending how passionate I am about something. But I know for some people, it can really exhaust them and burn them out to the point that maybe they lost their interest in coding, which um, like, yeah, you get burned out in university as well, but in a different way. And another con is that it can have poor job prospects. According to Wall Street Journal's entry level coders that come from a coding bootcamp versus entry level coders that just came out of university earn significant less than someone that has a computer science degree. So just want to keep that in mind that not every company out there will value a coding bootcamp uh, just as high as a computer yeah. science degree because some people just look at the logical part of it. Some people want someone that's more committed like, okay, yeah, you're committed to a coding bootcamp for a few months, but then there's this guy that went to university for four years. Like obviously he's more committed than you. So it really depends on the companies that you apply for. On the flip side, you also see people that are like, yeah, okay, yeah, maybe this guy went to university for four years and got computer science degree but he's barely written a line of code in his life. When this person went to a coding bootcamp, like he, he or she has a portfolio to show, an actual real work to show rather than what they learned. So at the end of the day, it's just who you work for. So my overall opinion is I think if you're serious about this career and learning, I would say if you can, I know not everybody is in this position to do this, but in my dream situation, at least, I would love to start with a coding bootcamp first and then enter university. Now, maybe for some people it's the other way around, but I like it in this 
this order because then I can learn how to code first. So that way when I'm in university, I can apply a lot of that knowledge I'm learning in university and use it in my code. I think they both have advantages and disadvantages, but because I want to be the best programmer I can be, I want to do both. Because this is a great way to gain some background experience either before you start university or during. That would be really great if you can graduate with experience and your degree. And for every person out there that is not sure if they want to start a computer science degree, I highly recommend at least doing some sort of crash course. It doesn't have to be expensive, you don't need to go to some fancy one, but go to some sort of boot camp that's either online or in person that will kind of give you a little taste of what it's like. I recommend that over just starting off in a college degree if you're not even sure about it. I wish that's the way I went because I got burnt out after two, year, two years of university and but now that I have this coding boot camp experience under my belt, I'm more excited than ever to start my computer science degree again. Like I'm so much more excited today than I ever was. I'm proud to say that I'll be re-enrolling in university in 2019. Okay, well that's all I have to say about the pros and cons about a coding boot camp. Let me know if you find these videos interesting. I am so happy to help people out and help others just learn more about what it's like to be a female programmer and what it's like to be a college dropout and then re-enrolling in college again, what it's like to be a coding bootcamp student. I just love sharing my experiences with you guys and I really hope I can inspire some of you out there that are interested in this degree to just go for it. Like what's stopping you? So I'll see you in next week's video. Yes, I'll be filming more of these types of sit down videos. The coding bootcamp vlogs are officially over, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop making videos. I have lots of cool videos and lots of cool things I wanna share with you guys that I learned from the bootcamp. So it's basically like free knowledge from me. All you have to do is subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I post cheesy jokes on there and just like really quirky things. Oh, one last thing. You should check out my merchandise shop. I just released some really cute shirts and pillows and mugs. I actually need to make myself an order because I want us to have matchy mugs. This is not from my shop, but I have some really cute things on there that you should check out. Go ahead and check out the link in the description. If you want to support my channel so I can make more videos, please go ahead and make some purchases on there. Okay, once again, thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone.